Always a big sniff, Brent. Um, no, it'll be uh, one of the most challenging games that we've had uh, over the last few years. Um, they are loaded, uh, full of talent since the NBL's finished. Um, whether they bring them all on the road, I'm not sure, but uh, if you're a basketball supporter, this is the game you want to come to. So are you hoping they don't bring these guys on the road, or do you want to be up against oh, them? Look, I'd actually like to coach against that. and I know the boys are up and about and wanting to play against um, teams of the calibre of Geelong. Um, so uh, to bring half the United and Cairns Taipans uh, uh, bench and, and starters to Hobart is huge for us. You've obviously been rolling offensively. Have you still got room to grow, do you feel, mate, with new additions? <laughs> to, to, you know, you can firing up 100 points plus. It's been pretty good so far. Yeah, look, uh, I think Jack coming in, as I said before, really makes that, uh, them stretch the floor. They, they sort of uh, double-teamed Tad every time he came off on balls the other night and it really opened up the game and we've got some really look, potent shooters and offensive weapons. We, we do have to do a lot of work on the defensive end because uh, you're not going to shoot the ball like that every week. But um, and in particular, coming up against Geelong, we're going to have to be good on both ends of the floor to compete against a team with the calibre of players they're bringing in. Some of the young kids accepting that they're obviously going to lose minutes and their roles are changing. You know, are they happy to, uh, to play those support roles as opposed to maybe some of the bigger minutes they had earlier in the year? Oh, I'm not sure whether they're happy, but uh, it's the win-loss column I'm looking at. Um, I've said it all along. We want to develop our young Tasmanians, but we want to also give ourselves the best opportunity to win a championship. And um, I went through it as a junior. I think every junior has to take those steps and um, you've just got to work hard to get into that rotation. I, I mean, there's no reason they've played a big role in the first half of the season. I think Phoenix Roby came on in the third quarter. Uh, so they're not just getting thrown out there for, for junk minutes. It's um, They're part of the team and part having a role. So. Yeah, we'll just keep working and their time will come. At 16, 17, 18 years of age, they've, uh, they've just got to get on the floor. And it's great for them to have people like Tad, Jack Purchase, John O'Mines, Cohen, all these guys coming in. Uh, they get better at training. The competition at training's been uh, fantastic. And, and going up against those sort of players only develops you very quick. Are you pleased how it's all fallen into place? Because it was a bit, of a bit uncertainty with your signings and that at the start of the season, I guess, and things were changing, but it's all come together pretty well for you. Yeah, it's come, come together nicely. Um, again, it, it's, uh, it's we're nine games to go. Uh, we've got a huge road trip next weekend, but uh, uh, Friday nights, we can't look past that in Geelong. Um, I'm just looking forward to playing and, and, and coaching against a, a team with the calibre that... Um, Geelong's board in. Obviously they've got the coach Justin Schuler, who's assistant coach with Melbourne United and that's why they've been able to get those guys in. Um, so it's a great test for us and it, having Scott Roth courtside and, and watching uh, it's a big chance for our boys to showcase that they're uh, up to this standard. Are you, are you saying everything's going to have to go right for you to win? Oh yeah, yeah look Geelong and Knox uh, probably clear favourites for the competition right now. Um, I said a lot of teams will be loading up. Frankson you could throw in there as well with David Anderson. Um, so the NBL players have come back, loaded up these NBL1 teams. But to be honest, this is what we want. This is what we play for. This is why we coach. And I'm just excited about how much the, the competition's now going to uh, ramp up towards the end of uh, the year and finals. It's huge. With NBL free agency opening, is it any more difficult for you to keep the guys that are obviously looking to get a gig you know, to still play the team game when you've got John Owen, Cohen, you know, pretend Jack, those guys looking to try and get picked up. Yeah, I think they trust. They trust the system and trust the coaching staff and what we've we've put across. And I think if you watch last weekend's game, it, it really showcased all those guys and 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 our young guys as well. It was uh, a phenomenal offensive um, night. Um, and people keep coming up to me after the game. The opposition coaches. We've never seen teams shoot like that but that's the system we've always run we want to put points on the board we want to be entertaining and we want people to come through and enjoy the game so that's that's the way we coach and um, we'll live and die by that some nights won't go our way but um, it's entertaining either way who's the biggest chance to get a jack jones contract out of your current i don't know we've um it's sort of a level playing field it's it's 
really comes down to what uh, Scott's looking for and what he can pick up in those marquee positions. So I know the 8 through to 12 will be something that Scott's looking at, but that won't be his um, focus right now. But these guys have got as much chance as anyone else that's come to Hobart so far in the NBL 1.